Hey guys, it's Dragon5715 and welcome to another episode of Sky Factory 2. This is episode 22 and this sword, we're going to get busy and get it made. Hey guys, so here is the energy infuser, and if we click on it, I've got the draconium blocks inside of here, or a block anyway, it'll only do one at a time, and we're charging it up because we have a ritual to go do to make this draconic armor. Everything has to be energized, so let's see here, what do we got, one, two, I think it's a hundred thousand RF each. One, two, three. Yeah, so a hundred million, sorry, RF each. So it's going to take a while because we're at 30% uh, right now. So once these are all four, four of them, I got six, nine, but ten, whatever. When they're all charged up, we'll be back and we'll do the ritual. And hopefully I do it right and don't screw it up. guys so I got <clears throat> I have four charged draconium blocks now I know it looks kind of stupid but apparently the more lines I put to that the more this charges up so I'll show you here put that in there and it's going to stay at a steady 81 920 so each one of these lines can do up to 20,000 RF so the more lines I put to this as you can see I tried to put as many as I could I guess it has must have a maximum on it but it will do about 8200 RF and then it'll slowly fill that up to 100 million now I went and made a, a wyvern sword and it's uh, pretty ki kicks ass pretty good there and then uh, I noticed the, uh, where's my armor stuff here? Huh, that's kind of weird how my hearts aren't turning blue or green or whatever. But anyway, guys, we're going to do some other stuff here. And then we're going to do the Draconic Awakening. And I think I'm going to have to do that over on the Obsidian. We'll see in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're going to check on our ball of power here real quick. It's been running for, I think, two days straight, and we have 122.5 billion RF. That's a little bit more than Sunday because he only has 25 billion, but um, you know what? I have a feeling that he's going to fill that ball up very quickly and uh, surpass us. So that thing holds 2.1 trillion. So I think we're at, um, oh, 5% full. And it took two days. So it's going to take, you know, well over a month to fill that thing up at the rate that we're going. So anyway, guys, okay, so Draconic. Okay, stop. There we go. Okay, so drop one dragon heart on the ground and activate it with an explosion. Drop four to 16. So we're going to drop 16 draconic cores on the ground near the activated heart. A few seconds after, it will draw the items nearby towards it, and anything not a core will be destroyed. Okay, well, let's hope that the platform's not destroyed. Uh, now, now after that happens, you're going to place one of the charged draconium blocks, one to four, so we're going to put four near the heart, and you will know it's working when the heart starts targeting the draconic blocks. Now stand back and watch the magic happen. All right. All right. We're going to have to get organized here. Okay, so explosion. Okay, so we're going to activate the heart with an explosion. So let's put that there. Let's put the heart somewhere. Can we not put the heart down? 
Why can the heart not be put down? Something's not right here. <clears throat> Something is not right. Heart down. Draconic block. Can we put the heart on top of that? No. Okay, why can't I put the heart down? Can I not put the heart down because it is a half slab? Is that why? That could be why, guys. Okay, if this this is taking a long time. I should go grab my axe, maybe. But then by the time I go grab the axe and come back, we could grab this. Dang it! Okay, it's almost... It's getting there. It, it's getting there. It's almost there. Come on! There we go. Awesome. Um. Shit. I mean, shoot. Alright, we have to go back anyway. We gotta dr grab some more charged draconium block crap and probably some uh, cobble okay DRA it's a good thing I made some extras but one more there and then we're gonna grab some cobble and uh, we'll grab a stack of that and a stack of that and uh, I wonder why this heart won't go down Because it does say place the heart down. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Scroll down here. Scroll down here. Drop a dragon heart on the ground and activate it with an explosion. Well, what the heck? Okay, you know what? I'm probably an idiot. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have to turn off magnetic mode so we can do this. Okay, let's 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 try this again. Okay, so after we activate it, then we're going to have to throw the draconian cores down. Okay, so let's, uh, let's Q. Okay, and then let's, uh, oh shoot! I picked up the heart by mistake. Okay, let's throw the heart down again. I don't know if that's close enough. We'll find out in a second here. Okay, it's activated. So now we're going to throw all 16 down. Okay, and then throw those four down. Is it going to target them? Um, I did something wrong, I think. Drop four to 16 cores on the ground near the activated heart. A few seconds after its initial act, it will draw hearts towards it, and anything not a core will be just Now quickly place near the heart. Well, that's what I did. And it didn't work. And I still have the heart. All right, let's, uh... I hope I have more of those draconic cores. Dang it! Oh! If not, I'll have to make some, I guess. 
D-R-A-C. Okay, I have 16 left. Let's make this freaking count. Okay, so let's read the instructions again. So we're going to drop a heart and activate it with an explosion. We're going to drop 16 cores. Okay, it did that already. Now quickly place one to four charge blocks near the heart. Well, we did do that, but maybe it wasn't close enough. Okay, so we'll try it again for the last time or else uh, I'm going to have to go make some more stuff here. Okay, so there's that. We're going to uh, drop the heart there. Okay, so after we do this, we've got to drop those cores. Drop the cores. A few seconds after its initial active, it will draw all nearby items towards it. If it's not a core, it will be destroyed. Okay. So after, right after it draws it all in there, now quickly place one to four. So as soon as it draws everything in, we got to drop the four draconium blocks near it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get the unnecessary stuff out of our way here. There, and there, and there. Okay, so we're all set. Okay, let's activate the heart here. Okay, it's activated. We're going to start throwing this stuff in there. Okay, it's going to draw it near. Now stand back and watch it do its magic. Um, it didn't work. Maybe it's because I don't know why. Oh. Okay, guys. I think... I think I, I know what I did wrong here. So instead of dropping the draconic blocks, let's place them down and see if that makes a big difference. So we need the heart. We need these four blocks. We'll need the fire starter. We'll need the fire. And uh, yeah, that's it. So. Let's go place down the fire. Okay, we place the fire down. We're gonna uh, we're gonna drop the heart there, and we're gonna start it here. Okay, so then we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, and then we're gonna place. One, two, three, four. Place four down and hope it works. Look at how beautiful that is. Is it going to work? Yeah. <laughs> we got her, guys. Four awakened draconic blocks. We did it. All right, now I gotta go find where my pickaxe is. Did I leave it in here? No. Let's go back. I think I put it in my house here. There we go. I think, did I, no, I didn't put them in there. Now we can maybe update our sword. Um, where's the pickaxe? There it is. There we go. Fly! 
Fly like the wind. So guys, with this ritual, you can only do... This is the maximum you can do per ritual. So that means that we have to do the ritual of resurrecting the Ender Dragon to get more of these hearts. So in any case, we have this sort of uh, wyvern, which we're going to make it to a draconic sword right soon. Okay, so let's get in here. Uh, okay, so how do we make this guy? So we need an awakened core. So how do you make an awakened core? We need some wyvern cores and some of this crap. How do you make a wyvern core? Okay, so we need... Okay, so we've got a few cores left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... How many cores did we need? We need four wyvern cores. And to make a wyvern core, we need those. Okay, so. Let's hope we got enough here. Three, four. Uh, draconian. Which we are out of. Dang it! Do we even have some nether stars? We got three nether stars left. We don't even have enough to do this. Shoot. Well, it's uh, either back to the lucky blocks, or we're going to have to go kill some um, withers. Something like that, guys. So anyway, we're going to put these away for safekeeping. Let's make our awakened blocks here. Put them away for safekeeping. Put these away. We're going to have to make some more draconian. Um, and get ready here. So I'm going to go do that. Try to get some more nether stars here. And uh when I'm done, we're going to make this sword, okay? Okay, guys. I think I've got most of it. So I've set this up here. Got all these stupid things ready. So, do one of those. Come over here. What else do we need? Okay, so we need one of those. We need one of these, which I already did. Which is just basically four of those. Some of those and some of those. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so hold on. I need this. Okay, it's the purple ones I need. So I need the red ones. So just give me a second here. I'll be right back. Okay, alright. So we're going to make one, two, three, four, and then we need, uh, W-Y-D, okay, so then we need one, two, three, four of those, and one of these, there we go, okay, so we need one of those, okay, then, how are we going to make this sword, two of the, okay, so I think we're all ready now, Okay, so we'll put this awakened thingy up there, put that thing there, go one, two, there, we're running low on those, and let's put the sword in the middle, there we go, boom, we got our sword, and uh, apparently there's no awakening thing for it, so hold shift so this thing apparently takes 10 million RF we got 40 attack plus 20% mob health which is pretty cute okay let's um, do, 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 lag it was running pretty good earlier 
I don't know. Okay, so let us switch that so it's charging into here, right? Okay. Now we're going to put our little, our little, it's not little, it's our big sword into there. Charge the heck out of it. Okay. We are full charge charging. Okay. There we go. Now, as you can see, I do have some wither stuff going on here. And do I need... Yeah, let's put some of that awakening stuff away. Because I don't want to lose it. Because we have to do that ritual to awaken the dragon again. Because we need some more hearts to make our full set of stuff. So, let's, um, let's head over here to our achievement book. Because we do have an achievement today. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Let's come back over here. Uh, we made a... Boots. We did make a sword. But it's not in here to make the sword, is it? Why? Draconic sword. Why is it not in the achievement to make a sword? Staff, power, hoe, shovel, axe, pickaxe. Automate wither... Uh, draconic battery. Make a draconic chest. Helm plate. No, there's nothing. I thought there was a thing for the frickin' sword. Ugh, that sucks. What time is it? Alright. Now we're gonna fly over here. I made a whole bunch of weatherproof blocks also been on this thing for four hours trying to get everything right here the weather of course um, I wasn't thinking and it blew the crap out of uh, oh I love this sword already where are you wow that kind of kicks butt a lot Um, what? Well, I've only got two spawners left. After all that I did there. And, uh, I started to make a cage out of the witherproof stuff. And, of course... There we go. Okay, so how you make a wither? I'm sure you guys know... I'm going to do a quick little tutorial here. So you got soul sand. There you go. And soul sand is made uh, with witch water. And I believe you put normal sand into it once it turns into witch water. So you get a barrel, fill it up with water. You put it on top of mycelium. That makes witch water. And then you throw regular sand in it and it makes soul sand. And wither skeletons, I have them growing in the crop there. And here we go, guys. We're going to test out the new sword. The purple sword worked good, but you guys are going to see the new sword on the wither. And there we go. The wither, she is charging up. And then there's going to be an explosion. Okay, now we're going to... And we have no health lost. And of course we get the normal stuff, which I have a ton of now. So we'll do it one more time for you guys, because I know you guys love watching me kill withers. In fact, we're going to even bump it up a little bit. And we're going to kill two withers with one sword. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so make one, make two. There we go. There's two of them going. We're going to kind of wait. Up. Both exploded. Excellent. And both It was a little 
bit tougher with uh, the other way. But eventually I'm going to enclose this whole thing and try to make some auto automatic weather killing. Still not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, maybe with some uh, automatic stuff, but uh, we'll have to wait and find out. So there you go, guys. We did the awakening, and we made our draconic sword. And unfortunately, it's not in the achievement book. And I'm kind of disappointed about that. But at least you guys uh, got a chance. Those of you who, uh, who aren't sure, it's all here now. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you next episode. Bye.